YouTube, it feels so good to be back. I can't believe that our last video was from nine months ago. So much has happened since our last video, which was our LA house tour. We have moved to Miami. We're building this beautiful home and we're expecting our third baby in just a few short months. So many new life updates, but since you guys loved our LA house tour so much, we thought it would be perfect to start with a tour of our soon to be new home. So come inside, I'm gonna show you around. Welcome to Casa Santiago. We are so thrilled to be moving into this home in just a few short weeks. I know it looks crazy right now, but this place is gonna shine very soon. I fell in love with this foyer, formal dining and living room area. You have your formal living room to the right, formal dining room to the left, and then this big open foyer area. We plan to have a big, beautiful chandelier coming down here in the center, a big marble entranceway table with a large arrangement on it. So it's gonna be very grand, very luxe, but also really homey. We're planning on bringing a lot of organic elements into the house, lots of trees and plants. Something I think is really cool about this house too is it's in the shape of an H. So you've got your long entranceway with your waterfalls, and then you've got your pool down the center of the back. And the whole house kind of wraps around both of these water systems. Every room has a view out to the pool, which is down the center of the house. And all the cabinetry and stone countertops are natural, so you just really feel like you're in a really organic, beautiful space. So follow me, this is going to be where we live most of our lives, I think. This is our family room and our kitchen. This is our great room. So we wanted a massive, massive countertop. And then what you're not seeing is there's going to also be a nine foot um, Taj Mahal court site table that comes off of this countertop where we can just have like daily dinners. I mean, you know how it is. When you have your friends and family over, everyone kind of ends up congregating around the island. So we really wanted the island to be the focal point of this space and large enough to host all of our friends and family here. It's very open and modern, so that back wall there is going to be a backsplash of stone. Just like the countertop, it's going to match. It's Taj Mahal quartzite, very durable, but also really just beautiful and neutral. And then the hood is going to be made in the same material too. This is going to be a cabinet just for appliances. So we won't have any appliances on the countertops. It's gonna stay very clean, very modern, which I absolutely personally love. Think here, imagine doing your dishes here. Like I'm gonna be able to look out, see the kids playing. I just love these huge windows here. We have a double washers. If you have a lot of company over or barbecues, being able to do that many dishes at once is a dream. We're going to have our um, microwave down here, which is great. You won't see it. It'll be kind of hidden. Tons of cabinets down below. And then this is going to be our stove and hood. Again, this whole backsplash is going to be made out of the same stone as the countertops and the kitchen island. So it's gonna just be like a really beautiful art piece almost in this kitchen. And we're doing one single floating shelf made out of the same stone too, where we can put pretty little plants and decorative things. Here, we're gonna have our double ovens, a little more storage up here and here. And then this is where our fridge, freezer, and then a wine fridge are going down the center here. I like that it's got its own wall, its own space for everything. And then these are gonna be side pull out cabinets here. We're editing these, but these are gonna pull out and you're gonna be able to store things like cereal boxes, have your spices here, things that are kind of more slender that are gonna fit right into this space. So then let's turn around. So this is our family room. And just one thing I wanted you to take note of again, the ceilings throughout the whole house are stunning. I mean, they are 18 to 20 foot ceilings. It is a one story house, but it's 
it's two stories really. So we're gonna be doing lots of beautiful decorative lighting, tons of huge light fixtures throughout. So this is where I really envision us spending movie nights. We have this beautiful built-in console table here, a ton of storage space for games, toys for the kids. We're gonna do a big 85 inch frame TV there. And then on either side of the console, I imagine big potted, beautiful plants there. I'm trying to decide between like olives or palms, we'll see. And then this space here, I've always wanted a breakfast nook. For me, that was a must. So we're building a huge breakfast nook here since it's right off of the kitchen. I really envision us spending our Sunday mornings here, eating pancakes, looking out to the pool. So we're gonna do a big wraparound seated bench here, have seating on the other side as well, and then a thin table that goes down here. Some kind of stone or maybe concrete, I haven't decided yet, but I just, I absolutely love this space. It's also gonna be a really great area for kids to like sit and do arts and crafts. Just a ton of natural light here. Really beautiful area to just hang out. And then here, right off of the family room, we're going to be doing a big outdoor covered patio with an outdoor kitchen. I love the indoor outdoor lifestyle that we're gonna be able to have here. And again, it's just right off of the pool. So I just can't wait for summer days here. So just off of the main living area, we're going to be making this the playroom for the kids. I really wanted to have a space for them to just be able to store all their toys, be free, make a mess, and not have to worry about it. So this is going to be their playroom. I really wanted to do like an arts and crafts table here under the window and just make this room feel really vibrant. Each room, this is really a bedroom, but each room has its own ensuite bathroom and walk-in closet too. Something I really love about this house too is all the halls here have these big windows. This is where you can see the waterfalls out front. I just love that it feels really open at every point of this house. So this is our laundry room. It's super dark because we don't have lights yet. I don't know how much you can even see right now, but I love that we've got a huge laundry room space with tons of storage. That's something that I've never personally had before. So I'm really excited to, to have that here. Now this little room, this is another little bedroom, but we're gonna make this into either a little workout suite or a music studio. G and I are kind of going back and forth with exactly how we wanna use this space, but it's a great little space. Um, I think either, either way, it's gonna be awesome. And then this is another little ensuite bathroom here. To the left here, we're going to be building out a mud room. I love that we're going to be able to have a space to store all of our shoes. They're not going to be all over my foyer like they've always been. So that's really exciting. Hang up backpacks, you know. And then this here is our three car garage. So one car enters through there and then two cars enter through here. And I love that this garage has huge windows too. It just feels really open and welcoming. On to the primary suite now, one of my favorite parts of the house. So this is really cool. At the top of the living area and right before you enter the primary suite, we have this beautiful bar going in. This is also a Taj Mahal counter top here. And we're gonna have the same stone along the backsplash with floating shelves, little wine fridge here and sink. So fully stocked. Great for a little nightcap. And then this is the primary suite. I'm so excited for this, you guys. We are going to have a huge king size bed there and still have room for two couches and a whole living room area in front of it, which I've always dreamed about. I've always wanted to have like a beautiful living room space in the bedroom. We are doing a big TV wall here. I know a lot of people are against having TV in the bedroom, but I like to watch movies sometimes in bed, so we're doing that. 
So this will be also, you know, easy access to the pool, backyard, be able to watch the kids play from here, which I just, I love that. I love that I'm gonna be able to see my kids like from every spot of the house, basically. And now the best part of the primary suite, G and I have our own bathrooms and our own closets. So this is my bathroom. I am loving how this is turning out. We did, beautiful travertine porcelain slabs all throughout. We're gonna have a big bathtub here, big vanity here, and a makeup vanity there in that corner where the windows are so I can do my makeup in the natural lighting, shoot YouTube makeup tutorials for you guys now that I'm back. And we did the same travertine porcelain slabs all throughout the shower. I love this shower, this just makes me feel like the girls and I, my three girls and I, are going to have like, the most epic home spa nights. So moving on to my closet. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see right now because again, we don't have lights, but this closet is a dream come true. I can't even believe I'm going to have this much space for my things. These are just for my things. I don't even need to share with G. And I have my own island here in the closet. I love that I'm gonna have space for all of my panties and bras, finally. My jewelry, bags, shoes, everything's gonna have its own spot. It's like really, really a dream come true. And this is G's movie sexy bathroom. I really love how this turned out. So we decided on these kind of like light concrete tiles. I have a really seamless finish. It gives it a little bit of an industrial feel. And then we did a dark wood cabinetry here and a very, very thick Taj Mahal countertop here, which just gives it a really luxe vibe. I love how this turned out. I love that this bathroom is also like a little bit different from all the others. It has a very like sexy manly feel, which I know he's very happy about. Maybe you're very happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Here's the closet. Come G's and he's closet. got his own closet. I'm excited. I'm excited. To not have to share with you. you don't have to share <laughs> with me. What are you going to do with all this space? <laughs> I'm so excited for you, honestly. I can't believe you're going to have that much space for your things. I know you're going to start creeping in at some point. Like, can I just hang my robe in here? Just a robe. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> so over here, this is also just off of the main area. We've got our powder room. And then this is going to be our office. I am so excited to have a separate office space in our home with this much natural lighting. Again, the beautiful sliding doors out to the garden. As you know, G and I do most of our work from home, so to have a dedicated workspace this, this open and beautiful is just like also really a dream come true. I know I'm saying that a lot throughout this, but I can't believe we're gonna be living here soon. It just it feels very surreal. This is where the girls' rooms are. So, Abby and Lisa, they're so sweet. They've gotten used to sharing a room since we've moved to Florida, and they want to continue sharing a room. So, this is going to be Abby and Lisa quarters. They really want a bunk bed. Lisa's not ready for a bunk bed yet, though, so we'll see how that goes. This is their little bathroom, a very sweet bathroom. I also love how these secondary bathrooms turned out. We did kind of a glossy uh, travertine tile on the walls, and then a more natural wood for the cabinetry, which turned out beautiful too. We also did tubs for the girls' bathrooms just because they're little and they still like taking baths. And then they also have these beautiful walk-in closets here with double doors. Okay, so moving on down the hall. This is gonna be the baby's nursery. Basically the same room, a little bit different doors. 
but basically the same room. It's gonna be a beautiful nursery. I've got a beautiful design for it. I can't wait. You know, nurseries are something that I love designing, so can't wait to share what we're picking up for that. More storage throughout the hallways. And then this is gonna be our guest room. So my parents, when they come to visit, are gonna have their own little area here. Really nice guest room space. Big enough to still do a king bed, so our guests can be super comfortable, have lots of natural lighting, which, you know, is my thing, and then a big guest bathroom. This vanity is gonna be double wide, huge shower at the end, big walk-in closet, and linen closet here too. So this is our pool. And then I just love that we've got this beautiful view of the palm trees. We planted an Ecclusia hedge along the back. So once that grows in, we're gonna have really nice privacy and it's just gonna feel really jungly and private and just like our own little personal oasis. All right guys, that's it. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for checking back in and stay tuned for more videos soon. I promise we're back. Subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you guys soon.